I'm here on the Glasnevin campus student union where the anticipation for the SU 2017 elections is slowly but surely building. I got a chance to sit down with the two candidates running for this year's position of VP for Engagement and Development, Sean Cares and Siobhan McTagg. So I spoke to them about what they feel makes them suitable for this role. So Siobhan, I'm correct in saying you're running for the role of VP for Engagement and Development. I am indeed. And can I ask you, what made you run for this role in particular? Like, What made you choose this one? Well, it's the only role on these that I go for. Like, It's perfect for me. Engagement and Development, got your task reps, volunteering, clubs and societies and being on the ground and that's, that's me, that's what I've done for the last three years in college and that's what I want to continue to do and help students to do okay, next year. Perfect, and what do you feel like you can bring particularly to this role? Uh, I can bring a real personal element to it, like that's ho my whole thing about behind the whole students union, like I want to bring it back to basics, back on the ground, get out of the offices, get out there, meet the students, let the students know we're here because at the moment I don't <coughs> think anyone even knows, about, a lot of people even know about students union, let alone utilize it so I want to change that and this is the second year in particular for this particular role like so say Emer would have had this in the first year for engagement and development what do you feel like you can change this year say um, as it is going into the second year like learn from say the mistakes maybe made or or kind of like run off what Emer has done like what do you feel like you can do to um, to better say how far they've come so far well Emer has had a very hard job the past year because a new position you've no one to turn to like the others um, but what I really want to do is define it, like nail it down what the role of engagement and development is. And that's going back to my four, four key, key areas. So your class reps, volunteering, clubs and societies, and the rolling out of campaigns, like where, what, be, what best campaigns work on each campus. Okay. Like I'll, 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 know which, I'll know what that is. Yeah, of course. And so as well then, you can imagine this year, there's obviously been a lot of um, controversy over the whole, you know, the incorporation and everything. Like, Pat's students aren't, um, they've expressed their concern over like the lack of community spirit down in St. Pat's. You'll obviously be based down in St. Pat's with your office there, hopefully, we, um, regarding like seeing how things go. Um, how do you feel like you can kind of work with the Pat's students? And like, you're not a Pat's student yourself, are you? You're made based up in here in class. I am, well, I'm the perfect example of a multi campus okay. uh, goer. So I have media studies on Glasnevin campus, um, Irish on the All Hallows campus, and then I have my musical rehearsals on St. Patrick's campus. So I understand that each individual campus has its own spirit, and I really want to maintain the spirit of each campus because we are we are different. We're all we're all one university now, but the differences are there, and I want to keep those differences because no point trying to make the three campuses the same because that's not that's not realistic, and that's not what DCU is. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Siobhan, and. Um Fingers crossed. <laughs> right, so Sean, I'm correct in saying you were running for the role of VP for Engagement and Development. I am indeed, yeah. What made you choose this particular role um, for, well, for running? Well, I'm at, coming towards the end of my four year degree in St. Pat's campus, doing the BA degree, so qualified primary school teacher at the end of this year. And um, I feel like I have a lot of skills to offer the job. Um, I, it's the right time for me to do it as well. I'm 21 now, going on 22. Um, just, I feel like I've learned a lot in my time in college here and I feel I have even more space to grow and develop as a person and I feel like I have a lot of ideas to bring to the table for clubs and societies, class rep council in uh, okay. DCU. And what do you think personally, like in particular, you can bring to this role, this, this, this role like? Um, I feel I have a good personality for the job. Um, a lot of the engagement development uh, remit it comes under dealing with people whether it be class rep council or um your clubs and societies i feel like i've i've a lot to bring to the table there so um if we think about say emer this year had a very tough job this was the first year for this particular position yeah um so this will be the second year of this position what kind of how will you bring this forward in in, in your i'd like to bring put my own stamp on it um as well as developing the students academically i'd also like to develop them holistically so even if it was just to bring in that the, the students on class rep council are trained to sit on program boards which is very daunting for a student especially coming in first year program boards you're sitting on a uh, in a meeting with lecturers from the, the college and you need training to sit in that kind of an environment as well as that um i feel peer listening workshops so people can help deal with their friends with, men, uh, with mental illnesses, okay. something like that. There. So working with the students. Working with themselves. the students. Yeah. And um, being a past student yourself, I'm sure you're very aware of um, the kind of controversy with the um, incorporation this year and how past students feel that there's a lack of community, the, the past community spirit. What will you do? I mean, being a student yourself in past, what do you feel like you can bring to kind of 
encourage the amalgamation of both campuses when there has been such a difficulty this year? With yeah, it? well, the difficulties we've seen is there's been an increase in the number of students, but it didn't decrease in engagement with a society or with events and things like that, especially on St Pat's campus. Um, there's 1,600 more students on this camp on the campus, and uh, there's students from Matter Day, CICE, and St Pat's. And it, it's, it's a lot in one campus now, and they're all from separate institutions, and they're all coming under the one banner, which is DCU. Um, I just need to make them feel welcome in their college. There's always been a community spirit in Pats, and we need more engagement up in DCU as well, on the Glass Netman campus. Uh, there's a lot of clubs and societies can learn from some of students as well, and CIC and Mother Day. Okay, well, but, um, yeah, that's not getting in the elections. Thanks very much. Well, there you have it. That's what this year's candidates for VP for Engagement and Development, Sean and Siobhan, have to say. Don't forget to tune in to DCU TV News live debate at 6.30pm next Monday. And of course, don't forget to vote. This is Rachel Kelleher for DCU TV News.